take a moment. If you're upset or angry or not feeling great, take a few minutes to be on your own, take care of your emotions. Taking a breather whenever you feel like really stressed or overwhelmed with something so you don't act in a way that you'll regret upon later. Mm -hmm. Just taking a moment to like be by yourself and like breathe. Make a difference. Maybe doing something nice for someone else, maybe volunteering. Helping a friend, making a difference in their life, uh, helping them go through some tough times. Do something you enjoy. If you enjoy something that you're doing, then you'll be happier while doing it. And Personally, I like crocheting and um, it just helps me focus on something. I enjoy doing gymnastics, which is like, it helps because it relieves stress. Get active being able to um, walk around or run around and just feel active or feel in the moment. I think it can really make you feel better about yourself and therefore make you do better things for throughout the day. Get connected. Being with people, it can make you feel better and they can make you feel better in return. Because like when you're with your friends, you, sometimes if you're having a lot of fun, you forget about the past, you forget about all your problems. Staying connected is really helpful. Get with the program. Getting into the rhythm of healthy habits. Yeah. Choosing things that work for you. If your friends are doing one thing and it's healthy for them, it might help you and your well-being. If I wake up in the morning, I don't usually have breakfast and you should have like three meals a day. And that could be a program or a routine. Getting under like eight hours of sleep is not good. I really enjoy walking my dog. I get some fresh air and get to talk with my mum and it's nice. Be considerate. So like be aware of like uh, who are the people around you, the things you do, um, even like help, if you help your friends, be like considerate of like um, what is going on in their life. Like I have a few friends who are going through difficult things and like you don't need to do anything. They don't want you to fix it, they just want you to listen. If you aren't considerate, that can make you feel worse about yourself and can make the person you're being inconsiderate to feel bad too. I also think maybe like volunteering, so like being aware of like what's going on in uh, the planet or in your country or even in your city. Our extra tip for well-being is slow down. Like for example if you have heaps of homework that you've not done yet, you might just need to slow down for a bit, take a break. Okay so it says take one thing at a time and it means to like be in the moment, not to like stress about things in the future or the past. Uh, I think forgiving is something uh, very helpful for both for the individual that uh, you're forgiving and yourself. So our tip for you is to accept yourself. Accepting yourself is the first step to improving pretty much every aspect of your life because it's at the core of everything really. 